<laughs> hey guys, I know this is a terrible idea, but I'm going to try to fix the clear coat on the back of this van. No clear coat here at all. It looks terrible. Everything else looks pretty good on the van. I have another van right next to it that the rear end, the tailgate looks pretty good on it. So if I mess this up, yeah, it's gonna look great. Got some acetone here. I probably shouldn't use this, but like I said, I have an extra door. If this doesn't work out, I'll just use it. You like how I did the intro like Scotty Kilmer? I love Scotty Kilmer, man. That guy is the best auto channel. I kind of... Damn rooster. Scotty Kilmer. What a guy. I'd love to have a beer with him. Should be good enough. Now we can sand. We can in here. Give me some separation from that panel. I'm okay with it being a little lighter. So if I lose some of the base coat, I'm okay with that. I just kind of want the van to shine. And I think the ass on this van is one of its best features. So we gotta make sure that's looking nice. First run with 1000 grit sandpaper. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go back over it again with 2000 grit just to give it a little bit more of a smoother finish, hopefully, maybe. And I'm gonna use the same water because I don't care. I'll probably end up doing this panel eventually, but as of right now, I'm just gonna do the, do the trunk and see how that looks. This I'm gonna have to blend, so that might be a little bit more difficult. This is just one whole panel, so I can just do it all at once and it might end up looking okay. This, I don't know, I might just leave that and just deal with it. But the rear end looked really bad and I had to do something. You should never drop your sandpaper on the ground and then pick it up and start sanding again, especially on paint. That's okay. I just finished sanding it with 2000 grit sandpaper and then I washed it. It looks like it's shining pretty good. I think that once I put the clear coat on it, this is probably what it's gonna look like. All right, the van's dry now, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to mask everything off that I don't wanna get paint on. I'm not really doing the best job of taping off the windshield wiper blade because I'll probably spray it with clear as well just to make it look nicer. Prep is done. It doesn't really look that great. Give it like one more wipe down. I probably could have done a better job sanding, but I'm okay with the way it looks. I'm gonna use this spray paint, some of the cheapest clear coat I could find. Probably should use a resin based paint, but I couldn't find any and I wanna do this today before it starts raining this week. So eh, this is what I'm gonna use. If it doesn't work out, like I said, I got another door. Oh yeah. All right, they said use a microfiber, but I don't have one, so I'm just using this cloth. But I'll show you guys what it looks like before I paint. That way we can get it before and after. Just spray light coat every two minutes or so, every few minutes, so right now I'm on coat three. It doesn't look very shiny. But I have a feeling that once I'm done with all this and I'll polish it up, it'll be great. This looks better than what it did before. Chicken! There's chickens around here somewhere. All right, we're gonna do a sixth coat. I'm gonna do this one real thick. Hopefully it'll, uh... Lots of orange peel. All right guys, I used two full cans of paint, Rust-Oleum Premium Lacquer Paint. It's got a picture of a car on the front of it, so. Did like seven or eight coats of it, and um, that's probably way more than I needed. I'm gonna maybe sand again and polish and wax it. So I want it to be a thick coat. I told you there was chickens. <laughs> Alright guys, this is about two hours later. I'm gonna pull the uh, 
the masking off and we're gonna take a look. My tape left residue behind. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Well worth 20 bucks and about an hour and a half of my time. The difference between here and here, night and day. Guys, I hope you like this video. 20 bucks, not bad, right?